Uh, three is his son, father of the third, son of the first. Just an NFL legacy situation. <laughs> TJ, TJ, yeah, TJ Watts brothers play in the league. We didn't have that situation. But his dad played in the league. My dad played in the league. Big we call legacy. ourselves big legacy kids. Big legacy, you know? legacy, man. And we, we caught us in the middle of quick hits. But I, I always want to say nah, trust saved. levels is now completed. And let me introduce this again. Super Bowl 57. What's my fault, by the way? We'll get into that. Okay, we'll get into bet, that. Bet, Super Bowl bet. 57. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're sitting here live, Trust Levels, brought to you by Invisa Line. I don't know if you guys know this. I, I, I've used the product. I don't know if you see how <laughs> beautiful his smile is. He used the product. Just check us out. Winning smiles is what we're here for. But we were in the middle of quick two-minute hits, my boy. We're about a minute in. No, to you, you probably three minutes into two minute hits. Don't do this to me. Don't, look, 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 don't do this to me. We are in front of good people. We Where don't the know clock like at? That. Who got the clock? We got hey, the hey, look, well, look, we got the clock. We stopped at a minute 13. Okay. All right, let me know when I can start again. We're out of timeouts. No yeah. timeouts. <laughs> that was halftime. All right, perfect. Blue cheese or ranch? Ranch. Wings or dip? Wings or what? Wings or dip? Wings. Coin toss, head or tails? Head. Really? Always J head. Okay. JJ or Derek? Myself. Ah! <laughs> Nobody loves me like me. Cool Ranch or Nacho Cheese Doritos? Blue Pack, Red Pack. Cool Ranch. I knew it. Okay. Favorite sack? The next one. Ooh. Favorite teammate? Yeah. Uh-huh. You better. Cam Hayward. There we go. Favorite, favorite, oh, uh, no. Favorite TV show? King of Queens. Mmm. Solid. Old, old school. Absolutely. <laughs> your, your most famous friend? My brother. JJ. Sadly. Not Derek. <laughs> Best rapper alive. You know who he is. Don't you say Machine Gun Kelly. That's not a thing. Eminem. Oh. <laughs> okay. Like it's not February. His uh, name's Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite NFL stadium? Um, besides Akersher, uh, I think Lambeau Field growing up in uh, okay. Wisconsin. Yeah. It, it's, it's time? Oh, snap. Favorite pair of sneakers? Um... These ones. Got them for my brother. How do you like your eggs? I do over easy. Mm, there we go. That was it. That, that was it. I ran out of time, but I had some good questions. But that never stopped the finishing of it before. Touche. I need to know. You, are you ran over on are you, are Jordan on 30 got, of the 30 Jordans episodes. Jordans or Adidas? Jordans. There we go. Getting into them. Favorite pair of Jordans? You the don't know ones. Yet. The ones. Yeah. Okay. Everyday wear. We love yeah. that for you. And that's our two-minute quick hits. We appreciate you, bro, for even stepping in. Yeah. I know you got a lot of things on your plate. It's Super Bowl week, so you're busy. Your brother lives here. I know you're kicking it with him. You got a new nephew. You know, like, I know. What's that like being an uncle? It's awesome, man. It, it, it's, it's incredible. Derek, my other brother, has a two- and a four-year-old. JJ has Oh, so a, you've been an uncle? Yes. Not new to this. True to this. So I, I get a good, good amount of time with them. As soon as they, they poop or get a dirty diaper, I just toss them back over. Yep. You know, so I, you're not the uncle helping with the diaper? No, diaper. absolutely not. Yeah. So no nieces or just? No nieces. Wow. It's wild. Three brothers and all nephews so far. Wow. Boys. Big Wait, big Watts the, everywhere. There's Derek, TJ, JJ. There's a th Nope, just the three of us. Okay, you said three brothers. I said, oh, snaps. Well, total. There's an unknown. Total, total, there we go. Including three myself. Three, three JJ Watt, three, three J Watt brothers. Three Watt brothers. That's on me. Three Watt nephews. Yeah. Yeah, JJ's uh, youngest son is three and a half months old, and he is like 20 pounds. <laughs> He's already on so my So I do not want to be changing those diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I got grown man poops, yeah. huh? he, he, He's taking protein or something that's right now. <laughs> what you want? Amino acids? I mean, formula. Muscle milk. <laughs> Muscle milk. Muscle <laughs> milk. Man, go ahead, bro. I'm, I'm, like, I'm talking. Like, start, start, Listen, man, how we started I'm off. just thankful and appreciative. Everyone's out here supporting the trust levels. We got oh, the, you trust. know what I mean? We got the man, the myth. You feel me? TJ. Walk with us on the pod. We what? couldn't do this if it wasn't for you. So we appreciate you tapping in and parlaying with us a little bit. Thank you, man. What do you say? About three years Cam's been doing this. Um, just pleasure to be a part you of it, You said your favorite teammate was Cam Hayward. He's yeah. been on the pod. So it's Absolutely. only right that we got you on the pod. You feel awesome, me? man. Yeah, much I'll, respect to the I'll, A lot of black and yellow here. It's awesome to see. A lot of black and yellow. That is crazy. They I mean, here. it's a nice mustard yellow. You know, <laughs> I assume you put that on a Frank. Shout out to my girl right here with the OG Mark Ingram, the 28 right Ooh. here. That's that's legendary. I'm going to sign that for you. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to sign that for you. You're a real one. Man, yeah. so, you, I mean, let's just tell, tell us a little bit of, like, I really want to know how you got into football because clearly it's a Watt thing. Yeah. But 
big bro started off, you wanted to join in, or you wanted to do your own thing, and they made you join. Yeah, it was one of those things where I didn't really grow. I watched the Packers from time to time, but I wasn't a huge like NFL fan or college fan. I was just when my when JJ started playing in fifth grade, I wanted to be a youth football player, a Pewaukee Pirate. My dad was a was a youth football coach. And then Derek was two years older than me, and I was just always the kid that was trying to hand out waters, trying to set up drills, just be a part of it. And um, as I continued to grow older through the game of football, it was more so just the next step. So when I got to youth, I just wanted to be the youth starting quarterback. And then when I got to high school, I just wanted to start. I wanted to wear my jersey through the halls proud, you know. Yeah. And then when I got to college, I just wanted to have an opportunity to play. And then um, when obviously when JJ and Derek got to the NFL, I started to follow the NFL and really fall in love with how much guys take pride. I think that's a big misconception about the NFL is that guys just slack off and they don't work hard. But, man, the amount of work and effort that it takes to go week in and week out for 17 games is absolutely incredible. And I just have so much respect for you guys and all of our other NFL brothers. And we have much respect for you. So you are the youngest of three brothers? Yes. So, like, when stuff went sideways and it got to hustling and bustling and tussling in that thing, like, how did you withstand Pop, 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 run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't want to say you're, the, you're, the, you're, the, you're not the biggest brother by far. No, JJ's got me in size. Derek had me in size for most of my life until the last couple of years. Right. And uh, it was a good, like, dead arm or two, and then I'd try to run Get away as fast as I can. Hey, Mom! Yeah. He, no, something like that. You, I mean, you're, the, you're not even the little bro. You're the baby bro. Yeah. And Derek was usually better at video games, so that, that always caused oh, that's a where scrap, it started. too. You that's where it started. Yeah. Growing up, what were you playing, though? Call of Duty. I mean, Madden I and mean, all the typical games. You're, sure. you're, you're a mid-90s kid. I, I can get that yeah. from you. Yeah, 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 We started off like Sonic the Hedgehog. but <laughs> You know, I just jumped in late. Have we even talked of, like, any high school or anything? No, bro. Like we that? literally just, like, literally popped in the intro and okay. Quick Hits. We went straight to Quick Hits. Bet. We're here. Bet. So you was a three-star recruit, which was, you know, poor judgment by the masses. <laughs> Probably not. your junior time. year, it says right here you had 27 catches for 505 yards and three touchdowns. First team all-conference at tight end. Yeah. So what made you go from tight end to D end? Like, what was that? Like, what was the progression? What was that like? Yeah, so I played tight end my junior year of high school, and then it was I went to a small school, and we didn't really have a quarterback my senior year, so I ended up playing quarterback in a, like a wing T, triple option type of offense and just trying to be the best teammate I could be. And then when I got to college, I played tight end for one year, did scout team, and um, I ended up tearing my uh, MPFL on my right knee. So basically your kneecap. What is that? I've never heard of ACL, that. ACL, PCL, MPFL. M- M- P- F- M- P- M- P- MPFL heard of that. is like the inside ligament right here. So my kneecaps would pop out and then pop back in. So slide would, to the left. Yeah, exactly. Okay. When you don't want it to slide to the left. <laughs> so that, that kept happening, and I ended up, uh, I missed like about a year and a half, two years of college football repairing uh, my knees. Uh, luckily, through having JJ in the NFL, I used the Houston Texans team doctor, Walt Lowe. Yeah, yeah, um, go ahead. Tell us about it. I've been he, waiting on how they look. The <laughs> rate at which y'all heal. <laughs> of having the defensive player of the year brother. <laughs> he, uh, he, he helped me up, uh, repaired both my knees, and then that was when I switched to defense because it was on offense, I was playing tight end, and guys would fall on the back of my knee, and they would fall. On, on defense, at least you know where you're going, and you can get out of the you way. You're falling forward. And, uh, yeah, so that's where the switch kind of came. I played – one, uh, two years in college at um, outside linebacker and then left the NFL. Yeah, that, that don't explain that. Like, it's not explaining to me how elusive you are. Like, you're slippery. Like, we talk about what you do in terms of slipping the shoulder, in terms of rotating. You don't learn that at tight end. I mean, a lot of it's just natural, honestly. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, when I first switched to defense, within the first week or two, there was just passers moves that I've never really done before, but I've seen them. Because I, when I watch like my brothers play, especially JJ, I'm watching just him on every snap. Like, right. I, it, it's hard to explain. I'm not watching the football like a normal fan. So I think it was just through watching him, I kind of taught myself what kind of what moves look like at least. So I didn't look like just a deer out there not knowing what I was doing. <laughs> right. Speaking of deers, do you go hunting? I no. just feel like that's a Wisconsin thing. I don't hunt actually. Yeah. Are you vegan? Are no. You one of them? No. But I did just move to a new house back home, and he was like, oh, I'll take you, my neighbor. He's like, oh, I'll take you hunting wherever you go. I was like, Woo! I'm sorry to let you down, sir. I don't <laughs> hunt at all. He's like, damn. No. <laughs> so you're not a hunter. No. Come on, man. Embrace it. No. I've been in Louisiana for 12 years. Got to go hunt. We, we done shot some pigs together. Pig, you know hogs. I, I heard know. it's a good time. Hey, look, I don't know if you I don't know if you don't like that, that, uh, that, 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 that pork or something, but it, it's mighty fine <laughs> when you do it yourself. I feel accomplished. Well, you get that trophy with the. What, with five the, pointer, four pointer, like yeah, absolutely. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to go to Bose next. 
I'm, a, I'm officially inspired. I saw Derek okay. Wolf pick up that big old yeah, cougar, yeah, yeah. and he picked it up. He's like, I bowed it. And I was like, oh, shoot, I'm not ready for that. You got to be on point with that bow, though. Like, yeah, that's what, you I'm missed not ready. that shot. Yeah, yeah, like. yeah. And then that's why you had a M. M. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. So you went to Wisconsin, right? Yes. How do we get there? Like we talked about, you three star, but I was a three star. We had we had offers. There was colleges out there that wanted you. I actually took an official visit to Wisconsin. I liked it. Really? Yeah. It, it's an awesome campus. Yeah. It really, it really is. They're turning it around up there right now too. I'm excited for the program. Big. I'll say, Big Wisconsin is always a vibe. Yeah. But so, like, what was your other big offer? Like, it bro, came I had down an between... offer from Northern Illinois. Yeah. Was my first offer, and I had an offer from Minnesota and Wisconsin. Those are the only three. But like. So you said you played quarterback your senior year. You mm -hmm. played tight end. Like, so what they was recruiting you as? Like, athlete. As like a tight end or a potentially linebacker. But yeah, it was kind of. You could have like been athlete. Taysom Hill before Taysom Hill. You could have been tight end quarterback. Eh. The end. The end. Something beyond. Just, Always. Just the all in one. <laughs> all in one. Just inclusive. The all in one. Hey. Offense, defense, how, and special teams. I don't know how that dude does beatings. Honestly, I don't know how you could do all in one. He like starts in the tight end room, but he knows the quarterback stuff. I don't know. I don't know either. Hey, Wednesday, Thursday, tight end. Friday, Saturday, quarterback. <laughs> Sunday, whatever you need. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it was one of those things where I, I felt like I wanted to go somewhere else at first because J.J. had gone there. Derek had gone to Madison, Wisconsin. And I felt like I wanted to do something else until the phone rang, and they're like, do you want to come here? And I was like, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I thought I wanted to go somewhere else, but as soon as you showed me that you wanted me, uh, I was like, yeah, I would love to go to Madison. Mm. Yes, sir. Wow. Like that. That's what I'm saying. Like, you didn't even get a chance to play with Big Bro, but you, like, went to Big Bro school, and then it became Lil Bro school. Yeah, yeah. It, came, it became <laughs> Lil Bro school because he, his senior year started in all 14 games. 63 tackles, 39 solos, 15 and a half tackles for loss. And he can pass. And 11 and a half <laughs> sacks. Yes, sir. First team All-American. That boy, Cole. He said All-American, <laughs> and they refused to bump your star rating up. That's crazy to me. Yeah, fifth highest. In, in school history, what was the reason for your jump from your like junior your junior year to your senior year? Like, what was the difference? Did the game slow down for you? Did you get more confident? Yeah, it was, like, it was my redshirt sophomore year. It was my first year playing defense, and then I was playing behind Vince Beagle and uh, Joe Schobert. Uh, some Beaks. people might know those guys. Good yeah, guy. and I uh, was just learning. Those guys are all Americans in their own right too. So just learning the position, and then my redshirt junior year was that jump where I I just felt comfortable. It was the first full off season of playing the position it's almost like in the in the professional where you have that rookie year where you have so much going on where you don't truly have time to get ready for football you're trying to get ready for the combine then you're trying to meet your new teammates you're trying to meet coaches trying to get the scheme you don't have time to develop as a true football player so that second year of college playing defense I had time I knew everybody I was comfortable with the defense I had time to work on myself and be a better teammate and a better player and that's where that jump came from that's what's up you got I got a question you do like any meditation I'm always at, like, what's what's a different aspect of life? Like, how did you approach? I manifest, so like, I, I visualize. Like, okay. I can. Uh, my high school coach Clay Iverson was huge before games. He would take the whole high school team and we'd go up to the wrestling room and everyone would spread out and he'd turn off the lights and we lay down. And he's like, just visualize yourself making plays. Mm, right. And stuff like that has happened where, but like, I can visualize things happening before they actually happen. It's it's the craziest thing, but. I'll be in a game and I'll get a sack and I'm like, that is exactly how I pictured that I did two nights about ago. This. It's crazy how it works. Like dip, rip, force fumble. Like I seen that. Yeah, it, it works. It really does. The mind, man, it's a positive thing. Like things you put in your mind, you manifest things, like it really does happen. Mm -hmm. Like it's powerful. I say, like, you know, I'm I'm about that manifestation of just like talking it into existence. I'm like, I'm about to get the sack, and then it happens. I'm like, look at God. <laughs> That's essentially what he was doing, though. Like facts, like whatever it is, it's literally that positive influence on your body it releases the dopamine that you get after like exhilarating your heart, which you can literally talk yourself into something good. Yeah, you just have to constantly be having positive thoughts, like you said. Is if you're always looking for opportunity, you're gonna get the opportunity. No so if you're always thinking negatively, you're always going to be having a negative or like outlook you go, on life. You go drive for a couple games, and you're yeah. like, oh, I need a sack, I need a sack, I need a sack. You don't get that. Exactly. You don't, like, you can, you and can really, they come, come up, in bunches. They come in bunches, yeah. They come in bunches. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, they come in bunches, and, okay. Hey, NBI knows, like, that's, that's, <laughs> he'll come up, you're like, hey, bro, stop worrying about it. I'm like, I'm not worried, because the moment yeah. you worry about it, you lose the bag. Yeah. yeah. I just remember getting traded back to New Orleans, like, uh, like, whatever, in 2021. I come back, he's like, I got like one sack or like no sacks or something. So along I said, those I said lines. relax. I got a whatever it was. He he's, wasn't he's, like, happy he's like, about he's like, bro, he's like, he's like, it's all good. I was like, I was like, no, it's not right now. Cause me, 
I'm, I'm going to hold this rundown. You know yeah. I'm here for the hands. Yeah. I'm bringing them things regardless. Yeah. But this actually to come on through. Yeah. He's like, brother, come in bunches. I was like, we know, Mark. <laughs> but anyways, he ended up having like 15, 12, <laughs> 12 11 like 12, sacks 12 that and year. And yeah, pro Bowl, yeah. all pro. I'm like, see, I told you it would happen. You just needed your boy back with you. you it works I mean? itself out, man. Yeah, it really it does. does. It always it does. does. It does. So then you go 30th overall by the Steelers in the 17th draft. Did you think you would go earlier? Like, you think, like, premier pass rusher, 15 sacks. Like, did you think that you would go earlier? No, so I came out as a redshirt junior, and you have to submit your paperwork. So you basically, in early December, you send to the NFL, like, am I, am I a good enough player to get drafted? And if you think so, they say you're a first-round pick, a second-round pick, or a third-round pick, or it'll say return to school. So I sent in that paperwork, and late December rolled around. I got, I got it back, and it said, you should return to school. You're not a first, second, or a third-round pick. Oh. So it was like in that moment where I was kind of like, okay, clearly they don't think that I'm good enough to be a first, second, or third. So I, was, I talked to my family a little bit about it, and it was just one of those things where I was like, man, they don't know me. They don't know how hard I work. They don't know how I'm going to test. No doubt. They don't know what I've been through through the injuries, uh, how badly I want this, and that kind of changed um, my mentality of just betting on myself. I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to strike while, while the stove is hot. I felt like I had a good year. I have all the confidence in myself. I have a great support system around me. Um, let's do this thing yeah. and, and so, get to it. So, like, what was it that ultimately upgraded you from, like, a return to school grade to being a first-rounder? Like, did you test crazy at the combine? Like, what was it? I mean, I tested really well, but that's, I mean, that's what I'm saying. People don't know you or who you are until you show them. And I've been training for the combine since eighth grade. My right. dad has had us back in Waukesha, Wisconsin with Brad Arnett, the trainer, and I'm still with today doing the L drill, doing broad jump, high jump, all that stuff. So I knew when it came time, I was going to be successful at it. I knew you was going to kill Let's just explain. What, what is a Waukesha, Wisconsin? Where, where Waukesha, is that? Waukesha. Waukesha. Yeah, it's right outside of Milwaukee. There we go. Yes. And now, and now I'm home. Milwaukee. Okay. That's where he's from? Yeah. Waukesha. Waukesha. I went to Pewaukee. Pewaukee? My wow. parents live in Okadamawak. <laughs> it doesn't I, get easier. I don't easier. even know the words that's happening right and, now. And I, and I used to watch it. Jabberwock. <laughs> Waukesha. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, Pewaukee. You're from Waukesha, yeah. but you went to Pewaukee? Correct. Waukesha County, yeah. Pewaukee's the school. Correct. Okay. And, and there's like, a Milwaukee. Big P. There's a Milwaukee, yes. And, okay. And if you drive 30 minutes west, you... Go to How many shop. walkies is there? <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot, man. Really? <laughs> I, I think I there, there's a lot of lot of different names back home, but but they all end in walkie. Not all, no, but because there's Key, three Bay, Green I'm Bay, Milwaukee, yeah, yeah, Key, yeah. Wanakee, You know. Yeah, okay. it's, it's like it's like yeah, absolutely. You learn stuff every day, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to learn, trying to learn so my like geographical your, Wisconsin. Yeah, your, your high school, you I'm a Midwest guy, so I'm just trying to. Yeah. You know. I, went to, I went to Chandler. I'm from Chandler, Arizona. Like, I went to Chandler okay. High. You know what I'm saying? I thought the, it was Chandelier. The, the Chandler High. You know what I'm saying? He understands. C Town's fine. We hold it down out here. <laughs> but, you know, we call it like we're C Town. We're, we're, you know, we're, we're the Chandler High. We hold it down. CHS. Chandelier. You got, like, you, you come from there. You, are, you, are you big P? Like, like, you pushing P? Like, what do you call your high school in short? <laughs> You definitely not pushing like you don't. We you don't. Got, there is no short. That's the sad thing. It's just Pewaukee. You, you have to call it that every you're single just time. You every time. I mean, I can go home and try to start that. I don't nah, know if it'll. No, don't you worry about it. It's, it's traditional then. No doubt. Okay, every time. I love it for you. What was, what was your mascot in high school? Pirate. Pirate to a Badger to a Steeler. There you go. Okay. okay. Yeah. Worked. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. <laughs> Pirate to a Steeler. I like it. Yeah, well, so, in fact, what was your mascot in high school? My, I, uh, so I started back, back as in a, the Sag Nasty. I started. No, I'm from Flint, Michigan. Not I thought Saginaw. you were gonna let me ride. Okay. Not Saginaw. <laughs> Get it right. I'm from Flint, Michigan. Flintstone. <laughs> Hailing from the bedrock, you feel me? No Barney Rubble. You see you how much pride me? is in there? That's like, awesome. I've been waiting yeah. for you to say something like, this. we come from the, I can't even say it anymore. I'm a the Wacky Shop. Yeah. Wacky Shop. Yeah. <laughs> so I was a Bobcat first, and then I transferred, and I was a Knight. So Bobcat and a Knight, you know what I mean? But I'm a, I'm a Southwestern Knight. To an elephant. To a big Elefante. Yeah, big Crips and Tyre Road Tire. Everybody know about that. You know what I mean? We don't need to talk too also, much about how does that. Also, how don't need the people being mad to not How does a Road Tide equal uh, Elephant? It's just what it is. Like, and you can like, do it. Like, I've, been wondering, I've been wondering my whole life. I was like, road tie, listen, elephant. Listen, don't do the math. Just add up the championships, and it's 18 of them. And any of y'all schools probably add up to it. Come not on, even. not even. attack. So, you know, yeah, it's well, road tie till we die, but we don't get into that. Stop we don't playing. Need to be, we don't I'm need sorry, people I'm sorry. I, I asked one question about road tie equal, and you went, yeah, I love it. I love it. If we you want like everybody it, to stay. 
Roll Tide, we the best, we the greatest. It's all good. But it's not about us. <laughs> it's about TJ up here. You yeah, know yeah what absolutely. I mean? It's about Chandelier. It ain't about Roll Tide. Chandelier. It's, it's always about Roll Tide. <laughs> I mean, we are nice. We're nice at football. But anyway, we're nice track. we just get drafted to the Steelers, but what is it like to be drafted to such a prestigious and a legendary organization? It's awesome. I mean, the, the fans his, the travel absolutely everywhere. It's it's insane. Um, just I mean, goodness, the, the what a terrible love. towel is that? <laughs> Oh my goodness! The, the amount of love, yeah, the amount of love that that the people have for the city of Pittsburgh and for the team. Because everything closes at seven. It's, it's no, it, it, it's an <laughs> awesome city, man. It, it, the people love their football, and black and yellow is everywhere. It's you have the hockey team, the MLB team, and then you have us. Everybody wears the same colors, so anywhere you go on the street, you always see black that's and yellow. Actually I think super that's actually super lit. Cool. I didn't yeah. even notice that. Like the whole city wears black and yellow. Yeah, that's actually no matter fire. where you're going, you're good with the black and yellow. It's incredible. That's it, fire. It's the for Pittsburgh. Real. But yeah, and then Pirates? talk about like as a 3 4 outside linebacker, the tradition at being in that uh, defense, the amount of times we blitz, the amount of pressures, all that stuff. It's a dream come true. And then obviously, you talk about Coach Tomlin, um, a phenomenal leader of men and uh, a guy I love playing for. I was say college, you started off in a 4 3 and then went to. I was a 3 4, so it was actually a you, pretty. You pretty much stayed the yeah, same. Yeah, I never want to say it's an easy transition because it never is, but. Um, schematically, it's very similar. It's just kind of translating the words and all that. Yeah. You, always, you always had those big, big dogs eating it up, catch you out for that one on one. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> bro, Except for like, the chip situation. Like, how fire is that, bro? Just to, all your brothers are in the NFL. Like, we got two brothers in the Super Bowl playing against each other, but like. When the whole family eats, I split the check with my dad. You split the check with three brothers. Or how's that like? Work? If we like buy mom's a crib, we go three ways. Like, when I buy mom's a crib, we go one way. One. Like, it's on me. I buy my daddy a watch. Guess who's eating that bill? You. You buy a watch. Y'all get to spread wait, wait, the wealth. Wait, wait, Do you guys split it or do you guys big dog each other? Is there like, hey, daddy, I got you a TV. Daddy, I got you a bigger TV. And now your dad's sitting <laughs> with three big ass no, TVs. No, JJ did it for so long that now it's time for, like, myself. The, after you get the second contract is when you're able to start doing stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, it's it's cool, man. It, it really is. To I just came from an appearance with JJ, and to be able to sit up here and talk to people about our lives is a very surreal moment. So you guys don't play credit card roulette. My biggest dream is for no. everybody in my family <laughs> to just like throw a card in. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we all got big bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because like if everybody's able, like I love it. If yeah, not, I eat it. That's but. the best. We play credit card roulette when we're on the road, and yes, it. it it, they always ask, a lot of guys always ask before we go if we're gonna play, trying to figure out. Right. Because when you're when you say you're gonna play, there's only like five people that actually no, no, show no, up. No, no, no. You make it. You make it a thing. <laughs> like you make it. A, like we do defense dinner every yeah. other week, defense line dinner every other week, and everybody knows we're going in, and you're gonna play credit card roulette. But also, if you don't go, we're gonna find you. Like if you don't know what credit card roulette is, at the end of the night, you get a hat. You throw everybody who was at dinners their credit cards in the hat. You shake it up. And you either go first card or last card. I prefer, like, first card because I, I don't want the anxiety. But we, we, do, card, we yeah. always play last, last card. card last they start card. pulling cards. And there's 10 to 12 D linemen on, on a roster any given week. And you're still pulling. And you don't see your card. And your heart is your heart is getting rising. So now you're like, oh, it's sort of getting hot here, huh? $1,200 because you just fed 13 people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 1200 is actually light. Yeah, I was going to say, 1200 is low. I, we've had, this last year we had a $4,000 bill. Ooh. Okay, yeah. No, like it gets it gets ugly. It gets ugly. And then you, you figure <laughs> out like right before that last card, second to last card, your card come up and you're like, God did. <laughs> the worst is when you have multiple people that have like a PNC or whatever it is, so you they pull your card, yeah. you think it's yours. <laughs> They're like, Nope, you're still in there. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like mine, but it's not. Shoot. My last time playing credit card roulette, I lost. The last three times I played, I lost. I went clean for five years. I was like, I was walking into dinners like a king. Yeah, I'm ordering the lobster, the serving <laughs> turkey. It, it, it bagged me one of those lamb chops to go. And knowing mine ain't going to hit. Let me get the Louis the 13th. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Those hearts, you know I'm tequila or nothing. Do you drink? Tequila, yeah. Time to time. I don't <sighs> drink a lot, but when I do, it's tequila. And when you partake, it's got to be of the choice of liquor. It's agave. It feels good. It gives you that winning smile. <laughs> <sighs> I'm Boy, just saying. Crazy. I'm just saying. I mean, top of the hour. I mean, 9 a.m. yesterday, we was just here taking a shot. Like, we, right? we were definitely over at uh, Kay Adams' little spot. And she really? Had, yeah, she had some. Uh, Hadn't mid, eaten breakfast yet. Yeah, she we're not going to call it shot. mid, but it was mid. Like, um, what is life? Tequila. And we, yeah, we. <laughs> no, I thank said, you. Yeah, no breakfast, no problem. No, thank you. But do you turn the shot down? Yes, of course. Good, good man. Not in the offseason. Respectfully, not, of course. Respectfully. Respectfully. Peer pressure is a mother. <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely gotcha. me. I was, yeah, I was the peer pressure. 
he walked on the show, like, he didn't even say hi to Kay yet. And I said, hey, bro, I'm two shots in. He said, well, what are we doing? I said, well, here's two more. <laughs> Sound uh. like he gave him more of a fight than he actually did. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't long. It was quick. Yeah. But, man, they t- I talked to him about what he did his fir- first year in the league. Because me, yeah. I entered the league, I only had one sack. It's been a long road to get here. He definitely had seven <laughs> sacks his rookie year. But then we go to the second year, man takes it to a new level. Pro Bowl, 68 tackles, 13 sacks. The boy just going crazy. Federal. Then we go to the third year, all pro first team, Pro Bowl, 55 tackles, 35 solo, 14 tackles for a loss, 14 and a half sacks. Talk boy just talk. on double digits, just back to, to back, back to back. And we're going to get better. Eight forced fumbles leads the league. Don't tell me. I remember down. that because I was in Baltimore that year. Yeah. I'm like, Every time we played the Steelers, it was just like... Where are we at, 2018 or 2019 right now? It's 2019. Give me the 2020 and let me, let me hold it for a second. Pause. You need the 2020 stats? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, tw- give me the 2020 stats because you okay. know he went federale. He went dumb. He went super federales. He went all pro first team. Pro Bowl. Second in defensive player of the year. You know, might have been cheated. Who knows? I, know? thought, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. you. You were going crazy that year. Appreciate 53 it. tackles, 43 solo, 23 tackles for loss. Leads the league, by the way. 15 sacks leads the league, by the way. Should you have won Defensive Player of the Year that year? We need to know. <laughs> you left the league in TFL and sacks. He's a good it's, man. It's, you know he's not, not going to say he should have. I'll say it for him. That's he should have won. Those, none of that stuff is up to me to decide. So who, who was the winner that year? Was it Stephon Gilmore? Who was it? Uh, Aaron Donald won that Aaron year. Aaron Donald. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Three yeah. time, another yeah. three time DPOI. It's one of those things, man. All I can do is go out and perform as best as I possibly can for my team, and whatever happens at the end of the season with all the awards, that's all out of my hands. Yeah. Well, that doesn't matter, <laughs> you jabronis, because in 2021 he won DPOI with 64 tackles, 48 solos, 21 TFLs, league leader, second oh. year in a row, and 22 and a half sacks lead the league second year in a row, and that also tied Michael Strahan's NFL sack record. Round of applause for my dog. Crazy. (laughs) You don't have to stand up. That's what I'm saying, crazy. (laughs) Crazy work. You got to tip your hat to greatness, man. That's what I'm saying, he was giving me crazy work. And And we're talking about an NFL sack record. We ain't talking about a franchise sack record. Absolutely. Although elite. This is the NFL sack record. Wait, and then just round it up, because at this point now we're on the 2022, where you still have five and a half sacks after missing how many games? Eight. Uh, Yeah, a good amount. Nine. It was a lot, no, but no, you came in no, and made no, it Do not skip past this, man. What was the season like, bro? Winning all-time sack leader, man. What was that year like, man? As pass rushers, when you're unstoppable like this, like, does it feel like you could use any move in your bag? Nobody could block you? Like, what was that season like, bro? Oh, it was awesome, obviously, to be able to have production like that. Um, but, yeah, you, you get hot. You go in the, in the seasons, stretches where you get hot, and you just feel you have those moments where you just, I'm going to go in this game. I feel really good about my matchup. You're watching film. You're really finding ways you can exploit the offensive tackles, and it just seemed like each and every week uh, was was a positive week for me. And um, I didn't I didn't really catch myself too much looking at the numbers as I got down the road, um, and it just all kind of the stars aligned. And yeah. uh, it's just you just continue to work hard and work hard and work hard. You never know when you're going to get your moment, and it just seemed like the stars aligned each and every week. I had an opportunity yeah. to finish off plays and. As Cam knows, where you're, you're a sack guy, um, when you're going at the quarterback, there's so many times you just miss the quarterback or where the ball gets out or where he gets out of your grasp. It seemed like that year where I didn't really have that many missed sacks. When it just I, comes I together. To, yeah, you were just able to capitalize on your moments, and I think that was the big difference uh, that year. Well, man, we just got to respect greatness when greatness is here, man. We just want to give you your flowers, man, because only 12 players have reached 20 sacks left. in the NFL. We huh? got three questions left. Only three left? Only three left. Who told you that? I mean, my man has to go. He's a busy man. He does have to go. <laughs> and we did start But late. I want to know, your rookie, your rookie year, what was your mindset that switched from a seven-sack guy to, a, you know, 12 to, you know, 13 to 15 to 22 and a half to – you know what I'm saying? What made you like go from, okay, I can be in this league? What was your, I can be in this league? I, I should be here. Yeah, well, my rookie year, I played on the, primarily on the right side of the line of scrimmage. Because right. when you're coming out in college, you're like, I'll do whatever it takes to win. I'll play wherever I need to play, coach. Even right. though I'd rather play on the left side, um, I play on the right side because Bud Dupree wanted to play left. And uh, my second year is when I switched over to the left side, and now I only play left side. So that was where all the production came from because I'm way more comfortable on the left side than I am the right side. But as far as a mindset-wise, I mean, playing the NFL is all about confidence. Yeah. People can see right through you if you're not confident. Thanks. And all that comes through hard work. So first couple of years, I just wanted to be a sponge and soak up as much information, be as quiet as possible, listen, learn, 
and earn respect. And then once you get respect, it's time to give respect and, and show everybody how, how to do it, how I'm able to be successful. And all that comes through confidence. When a young guy comes in the building, I'm gonna share everything that I possibly can with him because I know that guy is required to help us win football games. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think that comes from being comfortable with where you are and how you go about your business. And that's why you're a leader. That's why you're the ultimate leader. That's why you're that guy. And you love that but listen here. Come get my job if you can. We did the quick <laughs> hits. <laughs> we did the quick hits, but we also do a segment called What Grinds Your Gears? What grinds, what grinds, grinds my gears? gears is when my car gets canceled and I'm running late and the car is spinning around the convention center for 20 minutes. Uh -oh. I got TJ Y here. Uh -oh. I got all these beautiful people here. Yeah. You know, and I'm not here on time because it wasn't my fault. You know what I mean? That's what really grinds my yeah. gears. Something else that grinds my gears is Hotel check-in and check-out times, like, why is check-in at 4 p.m. and check-out is at 11 a.m.? Like, let's reverse this thing, right? It's ridiculous. Bro, no, so, no, no. What really grinds your gears, like, you, like, is when you have the Invisalign case, you got your Invisalign aligners in the case, you pop it open at the middle of the night to, like, put them in, and then they drop, hit the ground, and, like, you, instead of picking them up, you fumble around because, it's, you know, it's, you're about to go to bed. Bro. So now, like, now you have to clean it. Now you have, like, it added time, and it... Well, you grind, see that man that with the Invisalign plug? Yeah, that what boy, grinds oh. my gears with my Invisalign is when I'm when I'm cleaning them, right? I'm brushing them, and the water flicks up, and now the mirror has all the stuff on it. So now I gotta clean the yeah, mirror. Now you gotta do it like, ah. <laughs> it's just, or like, or, or, or you could just have naturally perfect teeth. Pow. We're not blessed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, blessed and highly favored. But just at the house, bro, like, I'm married. You're married. Mm -hmm. He's married. Some, you're at the crib, you know? You, are you, I drink juice. I'm, I'm a big cranberry guy, I'm a big grapefruit. I, you know, I do a little bit of apple. But like, when you come home from work, you've been, Hitting people all day. It's been an extensive one of those training camp days. You come home, you're expecting that cranberry juice to be there, and it's there. And you open that fridge up, and you're like, "Oh, it's gonna hit so different." And it's like a little corner in the uh, in the jug. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. it's not quenching your thirst. It's only gonna tick you the hell off. You know yep. what I'm saying? Like, and then you you sit there like, "Who did this?" And you know who did it, but yeah. she's not gonna claim who it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, is there something like that at the house? Wifey uses your same brush. My wife your, your and I will, wa will watch a TV show. And she'll say, I'm going to go to bed in 20 minutes. And I'll say, I don't even want to start it. We'll, we'll be watching a full-on Netflix show. We'll be on a cliffhanger. And she'll be like, I'm going to bed. Yeah. I'm like, how? How? It's getting to the best part. Yeah. She's like, I don't care. I will watch it tomorrow. I said, well, we, well I'm going to have gonna to watch finish. it again tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, wa I'm, I'm gonna I'll watch it tomorrow like I watched it for the first time. But I'm going to finish Absolutely it when you fall asleep right. tonight. What nation, let's ride. <laughs> but, hey, we said we are married. But, like, me and this dog, we super fertile, big reproducers. Oh. How many children you got? No, I just oh my got goodness. married July, we be, so. we, be, we be big reproducing. We got nine between both of us. Nine? And I got four. I'm just gonna say I'm the little I'm the little hand in this. I book. didn't I didn't single you out. I just said yeah, combine. Yeah, yeah. Are we still going or are we done? Bro, we only got two boys. Somebody one of us gotta keep going. Cause me, I'm done. I'm blessed and highly favored. <laughs> I love all my all my children. But I, I got all I the can't. daughters and I don't need no more daughters, so I'm done too. Okay. Look, I think I was done at I think I was done at two. Like I have one hand and one hand. But, he, I got, but I see what happened with him was he came to the locker room like, yeah, I'm a boy maker. All I have yeah, is boys. Yeah. yeah. Then three straight girls. Yeah, in that's fact, what you get. In fact, in fact, like sometimes it's humbling. Sometimes you yeah. know, I made my first boy uh, in, with my wife, and I was like, I was like, yeah, men make men. Look at them. This is the future. And then like the next one, I was like, I know it's a boy. And I was like, girl. I said, like, cool. You know, every man needs a daughter. And then I was like, girl. I said, like, oh, okay. Every every man deserves women in your life. And then the third <laughs> one happened. I said, yeah. So Doc, uh, I'm coming in Thursday. It's time. <laughs> and uh, you know, I've been I've been pushing I've been pushing regular since. Ah, this kid's here. They know. <laughs> <laughs> but last saying, last but not least, man, yes, sir, we all here. here for the Super Bowl. Much anticipated match, man. What's your Super Bowl prediction? I think the Eagles are going to do it barely. I, I think I think just by a little bit, just because talk about the pass rush, the, the trenches the you have, the D line is so deep. Um, my brother was just talking about it today with you got Ndamukong Sue and Robert Quinn coming off the bench. I think that explains everything about the they depth two that they have. They two deeps is just Bruh. sick, bro. It, it's Joseph Linval, like Brandon Graham, all rotators. Like these are guys who are dogs. Yeah, they had like 70 sacks I think this season. Se 70 regular season, another eight in the playoffs. But, I mean, it's tough because Pat Mahomes, I mean, he's, he's, he's a wizard. Ability, he's the best in the, the game. The amount, of, the amount of times that it looks like he's going to be taken down, he just flicks it off to the side. 
And I mean, just with the flick of a wrist, he can throw a 50 yards too. Yep. So. All right, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to give him one last question. What inspired you to do the little like I'm in Wisconsin and we cut some ice out and jumped in the little cold bath situation? <laughs> I've been wanting I've peer, been wanting pressure. To know. peer pressure. Peer <laughs> pressure. There's some mother now. I'm telling so, you. So peer pressure by JJ or peer, peer pressure by Derek? JJ uh, Brian Peters. I don't know if you know that. He played uh, down in uh, Houston. He was a linebacker for a little bit. Him and JJ were teammates. And he was, um, he had this sauna on a trailer, and he was like, I'll, let me drive it by the house. I was like, all right, we'll try it, I guess. And he's like, well, you know what would be really cool? My brother has a, a one-acre pond in his backyard. So we're like, all right. He's like, oh, yeah, we yeah. should wait, a one-acre pond? Yeah, a pond. Like a, it's Wisconsin. There's a lot of way and land so out he, here. So we one had like, pond. <laughs> we had like, what was like two feet of ice we had to uh, saw through or like chop through to get to it. You didn't get nervous at all? Like, this ice may break? No, I mean, it was like three feet. We, we made sure we were in the shallow okay. end. I was just worried a fish or like a snapping turtle was going to come up and bite me more than anything. But uh, yeah, we did like contrast. We would go in the, in the pond and then we go into the sauna. It was, I, I will never do it again. Hey, how was the sauna? Did it feel better? Way better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, go ahead, wrap, wrap it up, man. I started this thing. Man, so we blessed, man. We thankful for everyone to come in and tap out. We thankful for Ooh, our line. first live podcast. We thank you for the biggest of the trust of the levels. Huh. And we got two. Future gold jacket boys right here on the on, on, on the couch, man, with my boy hey, Cam J and he my boy TJ. He undersells himself. We talk hey. about this is a Saints all-time leading rusher. It was Deuce McAllister. Mark said, "Fa, don't worry about that. These my yards." <laughs> but like I said, this ain't about me. This is about we, <laughs> and we putting the emphasis on the we. And we got two future gold jacket boys right here. So I'm blessed and I'm thankful that you came to tap in with Appreciate us it. on the trust levels. Absolutely. Our first live episode, man. Awesome. Hey, first hey, live man. episode, hey, man. We, so hey, we do legends now, right? We we started doing it. We bring retired guys in. My vote is we bring JJ Watt in next. We should Drive bring past JJ 2011. In. I'm just saying we got the brother effect. I, it's crazy. We got the we got we got. I the, mean, the big dog here. Two brothers and as deep boys. Like, come on now. Like, yeah, we gonna get that's rare. That's we, rare air. Hey, we appreciate you tapping in with the trust appreciate levels, fam. Yeah, thank you, brother. On the trust, on, on the, the levels. highest of levels. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, Ski. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's the complete saying. package. I did that one time. I'm a Raven. I don't really fool with the Steelers, but you know what I mean. But I hit that hey, for you one time. Hey, me either, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, appreciate you, buddy. Uh, we appreciate gonna get you guys. Here. Hey, appreciate y'all. Love, boy. Shout out yes. to uh, Thank you, Trey, Players Tribune. Shout out to Invisalign. Hey, hey, how, how you hit that door? Huh. You gotta go up with it like that. Yes, sir. Stretch the hammy out a little bit before right. we go. And, hey, I'm, I'm nervous. Ever since I seen Buddy from Detroit when he kicked the door down yeah. and pulled something, yeah. I saw TJ. Yeah. I saw, oh, he got good hips. Nah, he been that? doing that. He did it 22 times. It, it. 20, <laughs> 20, like, at least like 24. Like, you get halves. Like them That's true. That is true. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. We appreciate you, bro. Thank you, All bro. Take right, it easy. Yep. Stay blessed. So, <sighs> How many more years left? You got on the contract? Take care, guys. <laughs> oh, We've I been messing the handshake up, so up all week, That's bro. What I'm saying, right? We've it's been really, tripping. It's really me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank sir. you. We love you. Hold it down. <laughs> oh, my God. Big love. Is, <laughs> man. <laughs> man. Big, yes, big trust in the, the flesh. Turn me down. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to use this. Hit it, bro. What the hell? Yeah, hit it, hit it, hit it. T-Town in the house? Where Tuscaloosa at? T-Town in the house. We love it. I'm feeling it. Yeah, you got it here. I'm my bad. Oh, I did that already. Yes, you can. There you go, hey, bro. Mark, could you sign his? Okay, I tried. What you got? You got marker? Sure. Here you go. What's up, bro? Huh? Who? LJ. We appreciate y'all showing up, showing love. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Mark Ingram. Big Invisalign. Invisalign always putting on with the, the happiest of the smiles. If you say happiest smiles, I'm thinking like winning smiles.